Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I'm going to show you the new business continuity workspace in ServiceNow's Vancouver release. That's right, business continuity management finally got the next experience and I'm so excited to remake my video series on business continuity management to show the new UI, the new user interface. Now, I'm going to start with this video just taking a look at an overview of the workspace and let's get started. Uh, on the left-hand menu here, we have the home page, which is what we're sitting on now. Then we have our task, our list view, and our crisis event map. Um, so they brought that over from the old workspace. And then on this home page, we have a breakdown by crisis events, business impact analysis, or BIAs, planning, or your business continuity plans, and exercises. And then if I scroll down here, I've got basically a list view here in the middle. And then on top of that are a bunch of filter cards. So if I was to click on pending return, pending approval, it's going to filter this list down below. But unfortunately, in my demo environment, I don't have anything in there. It's all zero. So the only thing that's going to show up is this in progress. So just know that's going to be consistent throughout this uh, workspace is these are filter cards for the list below. And then down between beneath that on every page here, we have monitoring and tracking of ongoing fill in the blanks in this case events. So we have assets by recovery status, plans by status, and tasks by status that's down there just below my head. So let's check out the business impact analysis. Again, I told you, same kind of format. Uh, we'll move my head again. I've got all draft, and if I click on in review, it's going to filter that list below, pending approval. And let's see, we've got uh, expired, approved. What else we got? Archived is the last one. So a couple, all the different possible states, you can click on that filter card. And then under monitoring and tracking, we have assets by recovery time objective, or RTO, assets by adjusted RTO, and assets by recovery tier, and this is a demo data fail. In fact, um, I've got sys IDs for the recovery tiers that I need to go fix at some point, but it wasn't important enough to slow down showing you this new exciting workspace. Uh, let's move on. Planning tab. Again, same look and feel. There's all our different states at the top. Let's click on pending approval. Now we see the business continuity plan for customer support, which is pending approval. Uh, scroll down. We have plans with exercises, plans without exercises, plans with events, and plans without events there right behind my head. Last one here would be the exercises. Again, same look and feel. Um, and I should mention there's this button on pretty much every one of these. Create exercise, create plan, create BIA, uh, create crisis event um, that we were just looking at. But there's all my in-progress um, exercises and I have four clothes that we can filter by. Monitoring and tracking. Let's go the other direction. We have tasks by status, plans by status, and just behind my head, assets by recovery status. All right, so that's the home page and all the functionality there. Task management, it is what it is. It's the same in all of the IRM or GRC workspaces. They have a task button there where you can see your tasks, uh, pending task, and then watch list stuff. Usually there's a my groups. Uh, so I'm surprised not to see the my groups, but that's okay. The list view, oh man, it didn't do it. When I first came in here, this is what it looked like. It defaulted to everything collapsed. And I was like, oh man, I wish I could get all my lists to do that because they all open, expanded. Uh, let's see if I go home and come back if it stays that way. Yeah, it stays that way. Um, but of course, at some point, you're going to expand all these and be looking for the different things you need. So again, you got the, thing, the four different things around that home page. You got them here. And then of course, you can make your own lists if you want to. And the last piece to show you here is they brought over the crisis map again. So you can have your uh, different crisis feeds that are coming into business continuity management and then those can be mapped on a map like you're seeing here and we can see that we've got two severe alerts in this polygon uh, actually if I think I need to drill any further yeah uh, let's see response tasks none there uh, flood warning issued April 26 at 9.07 a.m. And then I can create some tasks or see the locations involved and stuff like that. So that is the general overview of the new business continuity workspace. Again, I'm going to update my series. So we're going to walk through in the future crisis events, BIAs or business impact analysis, uh, business continuity plans and exercises um, in order to see how all this shakes out in the new workspace. I hope you found this first video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share with somebody who you think might be interested in business continuity in service now in the next experience. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.